So you've completed your long essay, dissertation, thesis, or report. And the next big thing on your mind is how to pull together the abbreviations and acronyms contained there in your text. This video is purposely meant to briefly take you through um, the process of generating such acronyms and abbreviations, especially for the novice. Highlighted here is the acronym UN. To create the full form of this, go to References, to Mark Citation. Now, in the selected text box, you see our highlighted acronym UN. Add a column and type in the full meaning of your acronym. In our case, UN stands for United Nations. And when you are done, you would realize that the category section is other authorities. However, now the category actually refers to the name of your header when you are finally done with writing your abbreviations and acronyms although ideally it should be abbreviations and acronyms for now we are going to leave it as it is and click on mark so for the acronym un we've generated the full meaning for it We also have here GSS. Let's highlight it. Go to Mark Citation. That is after navigating to references. Similarly, insert a semicolon and type in the full meaning of the selected acronym. Once again, click on Mac to enter and it's done. To generate it, go to Home. Well, um, I hope you see this. Uh, those are page markers and do it. Um, and then Click on references, go to insert table of authorities, so we have it here and remember the title, the category was other authorities and uh, we have the formats here, it's a pool of formats that you could choose from depending on the nature of uh, your write-up. I would uh, use formal here and go ahead to click OK. As you can see, the abbreviation, the acronyms, uh, full meanings for the acronyms have been generated. Like I said, you can simply dispose of this and rename it. whichever way you deem fit. So guys, that is how acronyms and abbreviations are created with Microsoft Word. Well, uh, it's unfortunate that they've not provided the facility. Currently, the, the, there is no facility for the easy generation of uh, uh, such acronyms and abbreviations. So this is actually the method used for now. 
I hope you understood it and if you do kindly subscribe to my youtube channel because we'll be uploading more and more of uh, such videos to enlighten you thank you for watching